Nocturia. Uh, nocturia means uh, getting up at night to urinate. One time getting up at your, uh, in the middle of the night to urinate is not considered, uh, you know, uh, prob problematic. But getting up at night two times or more, then, uh, you, you know, you would, uh, you would be well served to see why this is happening and how, and how you can prevent it. There was a lot of uh, recent articles or recent studies that came out in the literature showing that nocturia is actually a serious health condition. And it's even been uh, correlated with uh, an, in an increased risk of death. Uh, the reason why is several. First of all, getting up at night to urinate is very disturbing to the sleep cycle and uh, if you're disturbing your sleep cycle in the middle of the night to urinate then um, it could lead to all sorts of problems including feeling too tired during the day not feeling rested and that can have uh, negative uh, effects on your heart it's been associated with heart disease it's been associated with sleep with sleep apnea so from snoring or even without snoring you can have obstruction of the respiratory tract uh, leading to decreased oxygen and oxygen in the blood and it turns out that uh, less oxygen in the blood okay uh, that precipitates or um, triggers a molecule called ANP atrial natriuretic peptide which is secreted in the in the heart in the right atrium actually so what happens is uh, the heart makes this peptide and uh, it makes you make more urine uh, I don't know that we've really figured out why, but this is a proven fact. Less oxygen, ANP goes up, you make more urine. So uh, getting up at night to urinate more often than not could be a sign that you need to look at your sleep apnea and fix it. Most people with nocturia don't have sleep apnea. So that being said, let's talk about those, those people who don't have sleep apnea. Well, uh, the first thing to do to understand what's happening and why someone's getting up so often at night is a bladder diary. So we measure the urine output during the night and during the day. And if you're making more urine proportionately to how much you're making during the day and you're making a lot of urine at night and at night you're supposed to actually make less urine. So if you make more urine during the night than during the day, then there's something wrong in, in the way your body's handling water and that's something that we can fix. But let's say, for example, you're, you're not making more urine during the night than you're making during the day and you know, your production of urine is normal. Is that you're going frequently to the bathroom, not only during the night, but also during the day. And if you're going to the bathroom every half hour during the day, for a uh, you know uh, for one of the reasons we talked about earlier in, w in another video uh, on frequency, well, that could also be the problem during the night. And let's say, for example, you have a bladder that that has a capacity of 500 uh, milliliters, so half a liter, and you cannot empty your bladder past I don't know 400. That means you have a functional capacity of 100. You can put 100 in and get 100 out, but your bladder capacity is 100. That means if you're making 100 cc's of urine per hour, let's say, then every hour you're going to be going to the bathroom because every time you go from, 500, from 400 to 500, you pee it out, and then you're back, to, you're back to 400, and you get another 100, you pee it out. So you keep going to the bathroom every, every hour. So that's one of the reasons. So this is something that's, uh, you know, that's important. It's important to your health, and I highly recommend you getting a if you have nocturia.